Hello everybody. So today I have a video for how you can add specific games from the CMU or C emulator, uh, Nintendo emulator to Steam. And these will create shortcuts that will launch that specific game. You won't have to launch into CMU and then um, launch the game from there. So as you can see, I've added one here for Mario Kart, I'm going to add another one. So once you have Steam launched and you're in your library at the bottom, there is a option add a game click on that and select add a non steam game now from this list it doesn't matter what you select you can select any executable so I've gone to the bottom selected wordpad and then click on add selected programs as you can see wordpad appeared down here um, it doesn't matter what you pick because we're actually going to be changing what is launched from the properties of wordpad so right click the program you've added and then select properties and here, click on change. And what you'll want to do is navigate to your cmu.exe. So for me, I have uh, that on the G drive. And then as you can see, the cmu and version and cmu.exe. So that changed the target and start in. Now to launch a specific game, what you'll want to do is click on set launch options. And then here, type in dash lowercase g, create two double quotes because we're going to be putting the path of the games.rpx file. So navigate to where your games are for uh, CMU. I have them under a folder called G or games. We use stuff games. And then navigate to the content or the code directory of the game. So for here or for me, have Zelda Breath of the Wild code. And as you can see, there's a RPX file here called u-king.rpx. So copy the path, and then in that uh, launch options bar, paste the path, do backslash, and then the name of the RPX. So for me, u-king.rpx. And then outside of the quotations, do lowercase dash f. Um, and what that'll do is launch the game in full screen. So click OK. And then before you close out the shortcut, rename it if you want to. So I've called it The Legends of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And as you can see, the icon is actually the CMU icon. So sometimes they don't appear here when you set them yourself. But if you create desktop shortcuts, they will be there. So I've started collecting some shortcuts and putting them in a directory. Just uh, the only thing is they have to be .ico files. And I'll have a link in the description for um, a, a pro or a website that you can basically upload any image to and create a ICO. Um, I've so far just Googled the names and then icon and then something comes up that looks like a standard icon. So as you can see, I've set it to an icon file and I uh, have to reset this. Okay, so once you've done all that, you can click close and we'll go back to Steam here. At the bottom of the list, you can see have the, or not the bottom, but in the list, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So right click that and select Create Desktop Shortcut. Okay, so as you can see, I do have a shortcut here already for Mario Kart, and the shortcut was created for Zelda with the icon. Um, I'm going to click launch, but I'll have to exit out of full screen, otherwise you won't be able to see what's happening. Okay, so as you can see, it's launching the game directly and going right, or once, once the shaders are loaded, I'll just load past the menu, show you that the game launches correctly.
All right, so as you can see, I'm in the game here, and uh, that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I hope this video was helpful for you, and thanks for watching.